Well, good morning and thanks for joining us once again. We're outside in front of our lobby here on Soldiers Field Road in Boston, talking this week with a man in charge of an institution that's going through a lot of upheaval right now, just like every place is, uh, the president of UMass, Marty Meehan. Mr. President, welcome. John, good to see you. Good to have you here. Uh, you had to send the students home, obviously, several weeks ago. Yes. You promised $70 million worth of refunds for down payments on dorm, meal plan, tuition, it's fees, Parking et fees, things like that that we uh, think we need to get back to us. For the benefit of those people, what's the status of that? When can they expect to see those? We're in the pro we made that decision last week. We're in the process of calculating it and getting it out to students. It'll be done in a matter of the next week or two. Give us a sense more generally of how this has disrupted UMass. Well, the first and foremost, I mean, was we, we want to make sure that we protected uh, and kept safe the 75,000 students that we have yeah. and the 18,000 uh, faculty and staff that we have. So that was first and foremost, and that's how we made the decision that, that and we made it earlier than a lot of universities and colleges around, around the country, that we needed to go to online virtual learning. Um, and then the next issue that we look at is, how do you get 75,000 students who are three quarters through the academic year, how do you get them to finish so they can graduate, so that the sophomores can become juniors and the juniors can, can become seniors? So uh, it's gone actually pretty well. I mean, there were glitches, obviously, but it's gone reasonably well. The next item that we had to deal with was how, how are we going to get money back to our students? It'll be about $70 million we'll be getting back to students, but that's $70 million that we actually have to figure out a way to deal with. In other words, you still have to pay debt service on buildings. We're still paying uh, all of the costs associated with that. So we, I've been working with the Massachusetts Congressional Delegation looking to find a way to uh, see if we get help in the stimulus budget uh, and see if we, you know, how we can financially end this fiscal year in reasonably good shape. Experts like Dr. Fauci just recently warning about recurrences of the virus, even if we knock it down we're not necessarily out of the woods. How can the dorms possibly reopen this fall? It, that's a challenge, and in, in a crisis like this, we take it day to day, week yeah. to week, and month to month. So uh, I meet with the chancellors uh, virtually every day, right. and 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 we're going to take. We're looking at what the federal government is is uh, advising, and looking at what the state government is advising. Uh, we're paying a lot of attention to uh, the work that Governor Baker is doing, taking his leadership on it. So. We, we, we can't make those, we can't get ahead of ourselves. Right now, what we're trying to do is finish the semester, allow our students to graduate, allow our students to move on, and then we'll take it from there depending upon what happens and what the experts say. If we're continuing through the summer and fall into online learning and that becomes much more the way UMass does its business, what does that mean for the UMass business model? I mean, you don't need dining halls, you don't need residence halls. It could, it could upset the whole apple cart. Well, it? look, look. I think higher education is uh, in a disrupted phase anyway. I think this crisis has accelerated that to some degree. I believe strongly that online is going to be part of what we offer. But I do think that we will, as a country, in this this. Uh, this planet will get through this and we will have some sense of normalcy back. I think long term there will be a certain number of students that want to come to campus, that want that kind of an education, but we need to be prepared for all modes of education and online is going to be a critically important player. The other thing I tell you, John, if you look at UMass, we're basically a people business. Our expenses are people, our expenses are financial aid, and our expenses are our debt uh, on, on our buildings. Uh, we have to pay the debt on our buildings, no matter what. That's the first, you know, when, when we borrow money to build buildings, we have to pay that debt. So we're looking at all the various business options, looking down the, down the road. But first and foremost, we get, we're taking it day by day, week by week, month by month, to try to finish this, uh, this academic year.